Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Let's Cook webinar series, Succulent and Spicy Home Meals. My name is Sing Yen. I'm from Your Right, and I'm your host today. And I'm with Chef Aaron Tan. Hello. Hello, everyone. So this is a collaboration uh, with, between PA courses and uh, Your Right. So as you know, uh, the physical classes in community center has been stopped uh, due to circuit breaker measures. But there are a lot of interactive online learning resources uh, available on PA Courses Facebook. And uh, we really want to put together these cooking, interactive cooking classes, which means you can follow the chef to cook together. You will have received the ingredients and recipes beforehand. So feel free to bring them out and cook together. You can switch on your webcam so we can all see you as you cook. And Chef Arenta, of course, will be more than happy to comment yes. and give you tips. Mm. Um, and we, we are, uh, you're right, we want to do this together with PA courses because we are a mobile app that gives you ideas so that you don't have to eat the same food, you don't have to feel bored. Um, you can find both Asian and Western recipes for cooking and baking. The recipes are curated, very easy for you to uh, find what you like. Uh, you can follow your, your right on your iPhone or Google uh, phones. Uh, it's free and really easy to use. So, Chef Aaron. Today yes, we're going to learn to share two dishes yes. that you have uh, picked for this uh, class yeah, for correct. the PA courses, uh, your, uh, for the participants. Mm. Can you tell us a bit more about these two dishes? Okay, today I'm going to uh, show, show all of you uh, two dishes. One is a steamed fish with um, preserved chopped chili with garlic. And the other one is a mala duck wrap. Wow. So for the mala duck, duck wrap, right, they want a bit fusion, means a bit twist. So basically, what we have the ingredients, right? Uh, we have red chili, we have garlic, we have ginger. So this is the, the main ingredient to do the preserved chopped chili and garlic. So basically, we have to cut chili mm. uh, and then put it into the blender. Okay. So previous time, right? I mm. think that uh, uh, last time, uh, when my mom do for me, right? Yes. They always just cut. So end of the day, the hand is very spicy. So today I'm going to show you that we use uh, this blender, fast and easy. Right. Yeah. So. So okay. we, all of you, right, already have the recipe cut. I have already or not yet? Yes. Yes, sir. You have your recipes to receive. Okay. So we're going to see how chef cut the chili. We're going to zoom in. Mm. Just rough cut, go to the blender. So today, the, the main, main point is this uh, preserved chopped chili sauce. Okay. This sauce, right, as a mustard sauce, uh, for soup, we can use like noodle or fried rice. Ginger. Okay. So very simple, only three ingredients. Yes. Chili, ginger, and garlic. Quite a, a few cloves of garlic. Yeah, correct. And um, oh. um we have to season it enough salt and then it will can keep for two months. Okay. Now we're going to blend it. Okay, just ready. Yeah, around 45 seconds. Around 45 seconds. Yes. So, Chef, if we like spicy, right, can we add some chili powder? Yeah, definitely can. So, put on the side. Wow, so look at the beautiful red color. Yep. Mm, very strong aroma as well. Yes. Because it's fresh chili, right? Fresh garlic. 
and garlic and ginger as, as well is good for our body and then keep our body health exactly especially during this period it's important to boost our immunity so both chili and garlic have uh, good uh, nutrition nutrients for that yes so basically i i like a lot of um, i like spicy food so uh, i got store some bottle in my my house sometimes i, I cook mapo tofu i use this sauce oh, as well okay very interesting yes the sauce is versatile you can add to uh, different dishes like noodles, tofu. Yeah, correct. I need a bowl. I'm going to get a big bowl. Okay. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the chef to get a big bowl. And um, this is um, uh, the first step of uh, our steamed fish uh, with preserved chopped chili and garlic. So how to season it, right? Basically, I just use salt and yes. some sugar. And then this one, right? If you like, go with noodle. And then you can enhance some like uh, lime juice yes. or vinegar. Yes. It will can keep a uh, more longer time. Mm, that's great. So if you want to preserve it for longer, uh, salt and vinegar. So these two are excellent elements for preservation. Yeah. So now we enhance the salt. Yes. Okay. I'm going to zoom out as the chef uh, adds the seasoning. So for this portion, right, around one table, one table and half spoon. Mm. Okay, a table and half spoon. If you have the salt in a tablespoon, that's the amount you need. And then for sugar, just half spoon will do. So now it's just mixing, yes. making sure that the sugar, the salt is well mixed with the chili, garlic, right. and ginger. And then if you want to cook with kang kong, right? Enhance a little bit some uh, blood chan. Ah, okay. So yes. become become a, a Malay Asian. So I can say that this is like master chili sauce. Can go with seafood, vegetable, rice, and noodles. Hmm. It's really great to learn this master sauce that you know that you can do a lot of different dishes with it. So after you make it well, then king wrap it and then keep for a week mm. to uh, ferment it. Yeah. So after a week, right, the texture will be like this. Oh, wow. So can we zoom in? To and we want to just zoom in quickly to show you the texture. As you can see. So this is one week. Yes, after one week. After one week, the the chili paste that you saw just now that Chef Aaron has prepared in the fridge and the texture is a bit more, we'd say like slimy, like yes, yeah, a little more paste yeah. than, than just now a very freshly grinded uh, sauce. And then the smell also different. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm going to zoom out now. Okay. So this one done, right? And then... Um, now, I want to cook the, the sauce. So this is the first dish, steamed fish fillet with chopped chili and garlic. So, you know, steamed fish is something very simple at home. You can buy, you know, it's also very healthy, the fish. So, we just want to make sure, you know, we have a really good sauce. Okay, uh. Oh, we just want to check. Sorry, just give us one minute. We want to check the wok. Um. Okay, I think I, would, I want to change the, the, the stove. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, go to shoot. I think you can zoom from here. Oh, I think it works. Works or not? Yep. Works, huh? Yes. Sure. So how how yes, it works. Okay. Okay, now we this enhance. This is small flame. If yeah, we are home, we use flame. just small yes. flame to yes. start with. And then uh, olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. So I like um, citron paper. Mm. So today I, I got bring some um, uh, green citron paper. Very nice, yeah. Hua jiao. Uh, this is a uh, Qing Hua Jiao. Qing Hua Jiao, okay, green. Yes, green Sichuan pepper. Yeah, the, the, the flavor is uh, more stronger yes. than the uh, um, normal Sichuan pepper. Okay, mm, see. Very nice. We <laughs> <laughs> can even smell, you know, with the, the mask on. It's so how to bring out more flavor from the Sichuan pepper, right? You have to heat it up the oil, make it hot, hot enough. Mm. How do we know if the oil is hot enough? Um, for me, it's by experience. I would try like this. Okay, with your hand. Yeah, okay. but but try not do it at home. Okay. Yeah, but when the, the the pan is hot, right, you can see that some smoke is come out. So the temperature about uh, 100, one hundred one one hundred ninety degrees. So the olive oil we use, right, is a uh, normal olive oil. Just cooking one. Ah, uh, cooking no. Ah, uh, cooking yeah. one. Yes, it's so not. Really, don't need like the extra virgin olive oil. No, for cooking. they want they want good for salad. Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell from uh, your smell the, the aroma. Okay, and then we add in the chopped chili. So you can see that the preserved uh, chopped chili, right? When first first I do, I didn't put any any mm. uh, any other like um chicken pepper or other uh, fragrant ingredient, mm. Mm. just salt and sugar. Okay. Because that one can keep, you can do whatever you want. Yes. Like Agreed. rice, vegetables, as I mentioned before. But right now I want to do the steamed fish, and then uh, in China style we call duo jiao. Duo jiao. Zheng yu. Mm. So I'm going to show you uh what's happening in the pan now. Chef, we have a question. Where can we buy the green uh, Sichuan peppercorn? You can find in the market. Uh, I believe some of um, Sing Song can, can buy it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sing Song can find it. So just, uh, Chef mentioned, right? You can prepare the sauce in advance, put in the fridge, and then just take out some whenever you want to use it uh, be uh, before you prepare the dish. Mm. So low flame. Uh, olive oil when it's hit uh, hot enough, adding the citron peppercorn, and then constantly smell it, to mm. <laughs> enjoy the aroma. Yeah, chef, can you just quickly show me the peppercorn here? Sure. I want to bring it this, this yeah. to the camera. So that we so this some... is the um this peppercorn. Yeah. Okay, next step we add in some um preserved black bean. Just a little bit to bring out the flavor. Mm. Mm. Black bean is a little bit of 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 a Mm. Uh, between like Xiang Cai and Sichuan Cai. Ah. Like Sichuan Cai always use uh, Sichuan paper. Yes. But Xiang Cai less use that. Yes. Yeah. So and then, Guo Jiao Pa comes from the more uh, the Xiang Cai. Xiang Cai, yeah. And in Singapore, right, we we, yeah, we have to less oil, less oil, yes. less oil. So you can see that not so much of oil. Yes, the healthier version. Yeah. And yes. somehow we use a uh, premium oil, olive oil. Yay, yes. That's what I think when we cook at home, right? We can choose the ingredients we put in and then make it a healthier version to our taste. Okay, after that, we add in some um, abalone sauce. This is the abalone sauce. Okay. 
a bit similar like um, oyster sauce. Mm. And then uh, this sauce, right, the flavor is uh, very good for steamed fish. And then when I go put inside, right, it will bring out more flavor. Mm. About one tablespoon, Chef? Yes, correct. And then you always have to try because uh, uh, first day when I do, right, I already enhance uh, sugar and salt. So today I, I don't want to put that because uh, I believe that more than enough. So don't need extra seasoning. Yes, correct. But today, you, if you do like for noodle, go with uh, uh, pork mince, you can enhance a little bit um, black vinegar. Mm, black vinegar. Uh, black vinegar. Black vinegar is like chen chu. Is it? Is chen chu, correct. Zhejiang chen chu. Zhejiang chen chu. Okay, now try the taste. Chef, how important is it to taste the sauce before mm. you actually get the dish out of the sauce? Why is it? Because you, you kind of know you're so experienced, mm. but yet, you know, I know that chef always taste the, the sauce. What is your thoughts on this? For me, right, uh, every single item if, before we serve to guests, mm. we have to try it first. Mm. No matter how the, the chef is, uh, how experienced mm. he mm. or she has, mm. but for me, right, we have to make sure that before go go out the dishes, right? Have try first. Make sure hundred percent tasty. Then we serve to the guests. I see. Uh, this is this, this is my philosophy. Mm. Um, I always share with my staff as well. Mm. So, in my kitchen, right, all the young young chef or experienced chef, all of them must have one spoon inside their pocket. Yes. Yeah. Wow, you can smell fish, right? Yes. Okay, now I'll try the taste. Let me try. Okay. How is it? I need a little bit of sugar. Okay. This is a uh, brown sugar? Yes, brown sugar. Okay. So a little bit salt. I like strong taste. Mm. Okay. So first, when we fried with the peppercorn, the um, uh, oyster sauce, or the abalone sauce, all this, we don't need to add salt and the sugar. But after we taste it, if we feel like you know it needs more flavors, then we can add them. Actually, it's my issue because I, I like I like a uh, strong taste. Ah, I see. And that's why I enhance more, uh, okay. more flavor. It's ready to everyone's yeah, yeah, everyone's preference, your own palate. Correct. Okay. Okay, for the sauce, right? It's ready. Okay, great. So yeah. we can dish out. Mmm. Tastes good. Yeah, this mala really comes from the, the peppercorn. Okay. Ta -da! Okay, now I'm so, gonna zoom out so we can see the next. Ta -da! Okay, this is the sauce. Yes. I put it on the side. Next we go to Marina the fish. Yes. So this is the snack head fish. Yes. In Chinese, we call sheng yu. Sheng yu. Uh, sheng yu is very good for uh, our body. Mm. Like when you get injured, right? It will help us to get faster recovery. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So can yeah, first wash and uh, so this one, clean uh, the fish. Yes, correct. Yes. Wash and make it dry. Yes. Uh, easy for season. Yes. Okay. Then you cut like this. Shall we uh, zoom in to see how chef slice the fish? Okay. Okay. Make so, sure, make sure that be careful. Your knife will be sharp enough. Yes. Go in. Out. Go in. 
Oh, I'm going. Wow. No. Okay, there you go. Then for this part right here, got some bond, and then you can do it like this. Okay. So this fillet con content with bond, right? We can keep. After keep, we go put inside the 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 freezer. Mm. So, uh, cook for the fish stock. I see. Yeah. So yes, no waste. Correct. We don't want bones in our fish fillet, right? So mm. we cut it out and then we freeze it so we can use it for future. Yeah. Okay. Very nicely sliced fish fillet. All right. Then we enhance with um. We enhance with uh, salt. Yes. Okay. So we just do it like mm, this. Just use your hands to yeah help. Don't you. worry. After this, I will wash my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. Okay. Then enhance a little bit Chinese wine. Chinese wine. Uh, Liao jiu. Liao jiu. Sometimes, right, the fish are uh, mm. when we buy from outside and then we we just keep. Just put our dining room. Forgot to put inside chiller. So the the the, the flavor, it will change. Change mm. become a bit fishy. Mm. So when when the fish get fishy, right? You can use a uh, Chinese wine and sesame oil, uh, to to take out the the fishy yes, taste. Yes, to remove the uh, yeah. uh, chef. We have a question. Is it okay to use other fish fillet? Yes, correct. Can. Mm, what would you recommend? Um, I I recommend can use um sea bass. Mm. Yeah, sea bass is also very sea good. Bass, White, yeah, garupa, white fish. And then garupa. If let's say you really like the yu tou, mm. uh, fish head, right? You can use a uh, song yu tou. Song yu tou. Uh, all of this, right, can find in um, uh, our shopping center market. Mm. So after put in Chinese wine, sesame oil, then enhance a little bit, uh, cornstarch. Mm. The reason put cornstarch, right, uh, to ensure that all the flavor it will stick on the the feet. Fish itself. Oh, so to lock the seasoning Correct. to the fish fillet. Beside this, the fish, right? After you steam, right? You you can you can you can feel the uh the skin it, the meat itself mm. very smooth mm. because of coat with the uh, potato yes. starch. Okay, this is really chef's tip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we use the yes mayo, liao jiu, uh, qu xin, and then add the ling fen, uh. Okay. After this, on the side. Yes. Then we do the next step. Okay, let's uh, go back to the cooking. Okay, yeah, that's it. What I want. Temperature, then you. Oh, down. okay. Yeah. So okay. again, uh, uh, small flame. Small like, flame. Yes. Yeah. 小火热锅. Then now we cut our leek. Leek. Yeah. So diagonally, we uh, slice the leek. If we don't have leek, can we use onion or other uh, alternatives to replace? Actually, we can use a uh, uh, green vegetable. Green vegetable. Uh, like uh, si bak choy. Bak choy. Or um, baby kai lan. Ah, baby kai lan. Uh, I like baby kai lan. Very crunchy. Yeah. So the leek, right? I, I yes. like use the leek because uh, um, the leek itself is very good to go with this sauce. Mm. And then I will pan fry it first. Yes. To make the, the leek um, semi cooked. Semi cooked. Okay. Then layer with the fish. Then we steam it around six to eight minutes. Sounds After cool. that, um, go with sauce, then garnish will do. Yeah. Now, shallot and uh, shallot infused garlic. garlic. Oh, ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. yeah. Yeah. Now we turn up the heat a little bit after the chef, uh, chef has put in the sliced leeks into about 
uh, four half stocks of mm. leaks. So let's have a closer look into the pen for the leak. Wow. I think the, the color is really fresh, green, white. Okay, it's really you. lightly brown. Yes, correct. The reason I want to paint you, I want to bring out the, the flavor, like a bit burnt, saute the kind of flavor out. Mm -hmm. uh, can can smell the, the liquid. Flavor, right? The front yes, from the yes, lid. I can. Okay, enhance a little bit salt. Yep. Uh, today I got green timer. Ta -da. Yeah. So this one, right? Uh, I I believe that uh, every every chef yes. at house. Need to have one of these, yes. and then this one is uh is very good to remind us. Yes. Like uh, when you cook something right, and, and then you forgot, then at least you have timer to remind you that something is cooking in a pot. Okay, I put a little bit Chinese wine. Yes. Hmm. Nice. Chef, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. How do you um actually make shallot and garlic oil? This one, right? Uh, basically we use um cooking oil, and then mix mix with um peanut oil. Mm. And then and a lot of shallot, and then a lot of spring onion, ginger, and garlic. And then slow cook until it almost before burn when the mm. flavor all come out right means done already yes. so the whole process depends on how much you do basically how how we do in a restaurant right mm. uh, we use uh, one big tin around 25 mm. kg mm -hmm. and then one and a half so lovely we, we make the oil right around 30 to 45 minutes mm. just slow heat and then to bring out the flavor after that we strain out the the fiber and then can use already I see. So you can see the lick just sauté like this. Mm. So we glazed with yeah, the with the, glazed. With the uh, liao jiu, the Chinese wine. Yeah, correct. Ooh, very shiny. Okay. After that, we place with the the fish. Yes. Can so, come over. Ah! Wow. Okay. So we are placing the uh, marinated fish fillet. Onto the lightly salted glazed uh, leeks. Mm. So you can see that wow. not only fish, fish with um, fish with um vegetable. Mm. Yeah, because later we can eat the leeks as well, right? Yes. So that's why you can replace it with other vegetables. It's not just for the flavor, but you can also eat it. So you can see that every single item I got, I got marinade, I got seasoned. Yes the sauce okay so before we put the fish into the steamer yep. we add the carefully prepared uh, chopped chili and garlic sauce stir fry with all the seasonings that we showed earlier yeah cover it cover it nicely nicely okay so then bring the steam mm. Nice. Are we ready to go in? We, uh, um, are you asking me or the fish? The fish, <laughs> right? <laughs> both, both. I ask both. Fish is ready. Okay. Um, before we steam the, the fish, right, we have to make sure that our steamer is uh, super hot enough. The water is very boy. And then remember, when you go on to go put into the fish, right, don't just go in like this. It's very dangerous. We should turn off. And then this one, bring out. Place on the table. Okay, let the, the, the smoke come out, everything. Then go inside. Turn on, back. 
Okay. And then go into the work. So always remember, when you're cooking at home, right? Safety is very important. Safety very important. So we're yeah. going to put on the timer for eight minutes. Yes, counting down. Counting Yay, down. so Yay. the first dish is almost ready. Almost ready. We just okay. need to wait, right? Now. Yeah, correct. So actually, right now I can prepare a second dish. Okay, so yeah. what's our second dish today? It's um, mala. Ooh. Smoked up red. Mala, smoked up red. Wow, sounds quite fusion, chef. Yeah. So um, this one, so the coriander leaf and spring onion, I'll keep over here. Yes. So later on, I'll be garnish for the, for nice. the fish. So all of this, we bring out first. Okay. So if you are preparing with the chef Aaron uh, in the kitchen, we have now put the fish into the steamer. Mm. Eight minutes. And now getting ready to make our second dish, mala smoked duck rack. It's a very uh, interesting dish. And uh, you mentioned, Chef, that you can use the sauce you made earlier too, right? Correct. And I think those like wraps are all this, it's quite, uh, you can make it as a snack also, uh, or even during, uh, like for, I think, uh, kids friendly, um, more different options if you want to try something different, right? Uh, because we tend to make a lot of stir fry dishes, a lot of dishes that we're familiar with. So I think this dish will be uh, something really uh, different and new. So Chef, can you share with us the ingredients for this uh, mala smoked duck wrap? Okay, um, basically we have um, smoked duck. So this one I already cut. Yes, I'm going to zoom in so we yeah. can see. So this is smoked duck. It's very, very easy to find mm. in the market. And you slice them? Yeah, I slice them already. Mm. And then uh, Japanese cucumber, mm. uh, Roma tomato, mm. lettuce. So um, just four ingredients, in fact. And this is just now the, the sauce we cook? Yes. Okay. After that, um, we still have mayonnaise. And hoisin sauce. Mayonnaise and hoisin sauce. sauce, yes. Correct. So, um, when we're waiting for the fish, right, mm. I think we can direct do the wrap. Yes, we can. Yeah. What kind of wrap do we use? Uh, today, I use a tomato wrap. Ooh, yep. okay. So, it's actually, uh, it's tomato because it's a uh, flavor with tomato? Yes, correct. Tomato is, is very good to uh, go with um, chili. Mm. And then the color itself is look nice. So, I have to wear the gloves. Mm. Quick question What is hoisin sauce? Hoisin sauce, um, uh, basically, this one. Mm. We call it hai xian jiang. Hai xian jiang, ah. Uh, like people always use for Beijing duck. Beijing duck, okay, it's and a bit sweet. Sweet. And then you can feel a sesame paste inside mm. and some peanut sauce inside. Okay, yeah. I see. And Chef, how about the tomato wrap? Can you get them easily in the supermarket? Um, I think, yes. Is it like a tortilla wrap? It's tortilla wrap. Mm. So, so the color a bit different. So the flavor itself a bit different. Actually, at home, right, you can just use the normal plain tortilla wrap will do. Mm. Instead of um, tomato wrap. Yeah, so yeah. if you can find a tomato wrap, of course, good. Otherwise, yeah, the plain one will do just fine. Okay, so you can see that um, we put one. On big tablespoon, two, two. And a half. Oh, we have a very uh, interesting I suggestion. I, I like spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we now know Chef Aaron. Yeah. Um, we have two suggestions alternative to the tortilla wrap. Yeah. One is uh, popia. Popia. Steam. Popia can also. Mm. Yeah. Then, then it's, it's become uh, Asian and chi Chinese fusion. fusion. Yes. Yeah. How about frozen roti prata? I do it before. Okay. I go with um chashu. Oh. Yeah. I do roti prata wrap with chashu. Okay. It's not very nice also. Mm. But you have to make sure that the prata itself, right? The skin must super crispy. Mm. And then uh the inside need to um fully cook. 
Okay, so you have to uh, heat up the um, the pr prata first before you start to do the wrap. Yeah, correct. Yes. So uh, now I put um, hoisin sauce. Yes. May mayonnaise already go inside. Mm. Just the Okay. Beautiful. Mm. So how we do, right? Then we put sauce inside. If let's say you don't like so much or spicy, right? You can just put half portion. We will do mm. more mayonnaise, more hoisin sauce. I see. Hoisin sauce itself, uh, um, also got some sweet and sour. Yes. I think yeah. If you're not sure about the sauce, right? I think you can just taste it first before you put it on the on the wrap. Correct. Right, and then correct. you can know how much you want to put. Correct. Correct. I have never thought we can use the same sauce base between mm. steamed fish and wrap. <laughs> so I want to show you the, the sauce, right? Not only for fish. If let's say you do so, so much of work and only for fish, for me, I, I believe that um, I think a bit waste. Yes. Uh, so if the sauce, after we use our heart to make it right, we can reuse again on the other ingredients, other dishes. It's much better than um, we put a lot of effort on it, you know? Yes. It'll be efficient. Yeah. Okay. Chef, do you, we need to heat up a tomato wrap before we start uh, to prepare the roll? Um, no need. Depends. So, if you let, let's say you want to make it hot, right? After you roll it, and then you put one silicone pepper, and then the roll go inside to make it hot. Can mm, do. Okay. Or you can use a panini machine. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, the press one. The yes, fresh one. So okay. lettuce go inside. Tomato. Because if you heat it up, maybe it becomes dry and it may be harder to roll. Would um, that be a possibility? It depends on, on guest requests. Uh, okay. Because like me, right, I like uh, cold, cold tortilla wrap. Ah. And then some guests, right, they prefer the kind of a hot. The, the wrap itself, right? We can make it a uh, quesadilla. Ah, quesadilla, yes. Uh, quesadilla, just, in terms of, uh, just put some uh, mozzarella cheese, ready yes. cheese, and then cover it, go to the pan. Ah, yes. It will do. That's the tip too. Yeah. The cheese will melt. Correct. Um, can we use the Vietnamese rice paper roll, like the spring roll mm, type of... Uh, this one, I think no, because uh, taste will be different. Taste will be different, yeah. I see. So again, so, so I, I I got chance I got changed my recipe a bit. Yes. I enhance a little bit spring onion. Okay, so we have put now the lettuce, the tomato, the sliced smoked duck, and chef adding a little bit of spring onion. Yeah. And we're going to roll it. Okay, just cover. Another slice of lettuce, the so bottom and top. Roll. Slowly roll it. Press, press it. Roll. Go. Press. Okay. Press. Done. Roll. Press three times, and done. Yes. So I'm going to cut now. Very nice. Great. You can see, yes. We're nicely rolled together. The ingredients are tightly packed. Oh, the fish is ready. Okay, after I cut this. The timer is calling. Yes. Yeah. And um, we have uh, about the tomato wrap. You can buy it in the supermarket. It's just tortilla wraps. Um, Correct. Right. Okay. So if we want to heat it up, right, we can actually put, before we cut it, we can place it on the pan, right? Correct. Right. Right. But uh, yes. for this one, right, we can serve in a cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because smoked duck is cold. Yeah, correct. Okay, let's see the fish. Are we ready? Yes. Ta da! Wow! I think the color slightly changed a little bit. Yeah. So same thing. We have to turn off. Safety turn first. Off, uh, turn turn off, off the flame. And then bring out. And then use the cloth. Ooh, very hot. Very hot. Okay. They bring to here. Yes. I agree. There's a lot of chili on the fish because yes. Chef says he likes spicy. 
and then you can smell the, the, the all the flavor come out, right? And then enhance with Ganesh time. Yes. Okay, some coriander leaf. Yes. I'm also getting hungry, chef. <laughs> <laughs> So how do we know um, if we have a bigger slice of fish, will you recommend us to spend a bit more time Correct. in the same? Yes. Depends on the size of the fish, how you cut it. Let's say it's very thick, right? Then you have to take longer time. Mm. And then for me, right, I, I, I suggest, right, we try to make it um, all, everything equal. Yes. Then the, the timing, it become uh, ah, more standard. I see. If not, some pieces, you you will cook some pieces uncooked, I see. or some people uh, some pieces overcook, and then some uh, pieces it become okay. yeah. I see. We're gonna zoom out. So I think we yeah the chef another tip for the steam fish to cooked when you slice it make yes. sure that the thickness of the fish is equal so that uh, when you steam it you know you will get cooked evenly. Yes, correct. So you can see that. One time we can complete two dishes. Yes, very efficient. And chef, for the smoked duck, right? Can we replace it with roast duck? Yes. But if you say you want to use roast duck, right? I suggest you you can another way. Okay. Like uh, really uh, fusion means yes. that like peaching duck. Yes. Peaching duck means that we use a hoisin sauce, um, Japanese cucumber, and then some leek, and just enhance uh, hoisin sauce with um mayonnaise. We we'll do. Okay. So when you taste it, right, you can taste like mm, a bit like Beijing duck. I but see. what you eat is a tortilla wrap. Mm, yes. And then I, I do it before. Last time I use uh, uh this 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 ingredient, enhance uh some shredded cheese, and then do a quesadilla. Oh, mm, very nice. Quesadilla. So so the same tortilla wrap with yes. mozzarella cheese. Yes. And then any smoked duck or. Uh, uh, Roasted duck. Roasted duck. Oh, wow. Uh, and some a little bit guacamole. Guacamole, yes, with avocado. Mm. Very interesting. Okay. There you go. So, so we have the two dishes. Would you be close to the camera? Or all right. I bring the camera to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's zoom in. So this is mala smoked duck Red. roll. Mm. And this is? Steamed fish with pickles chopped chili. Yes, with and this garlic. and garlic. So yeah. Chef also showed us how to do the, the master chili paste rice the base. They can yes. keep for up to one to two months. Hope you enjoy it. Yes. So we have some time. We'll take uh, questions. All right. We'll go back to the main camera. So now it's time. Uh, you All the burning questions you have for Chef Aaron um, in your cooking. If you have ever tried making this dish before or you're making it fast, so this period, I encourage everyone, right? Stay home and then eat healthy. Um, keep healthy. It's very important to everyone, chili. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Chef, we have a question. How long do you stir fry the chili for the pan just now? When you added the uh, the green pepper and uh, the uh, abalone sauce? Okay. And depends on the heat. And then when you want to bring out the flavor, right? Mm. Um, like, you know, like Indian cuisine, uh, we, we cook chili, onion, we take a lot of time. So just now, I just do around um, 10, 10 to 12 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so small flame. Mm. I think this one requires a bit of patience. Yes, correct. But when I saw you doing it, I was really enjoying it because you get the aroma. Mm, I like the aroma. <laughs> yes, and I think the texture you can tell, right? Throughout the whole frying process, it's very little liquid. So mm. you don't want it to be too dry neither. Correct, correct. Very good. Any other questions? Okay. So we still have uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Wow. Oh, can you get the recipe of the chili sauce? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Seen the recipe that's provided, but we can quickly uh, uh, repeat here. Mm. So it's uh, three ingredients, right? Yeah. Chili, red chili. Three main ingredient: uh, red chili. 
and then we have um, garlic and ginger. Yes, we blend that, and then we add. What do what seasoning do we add? I put uh, we add uh, salt mm. and sugar. Yeah. So make sure that when you put seasoning, right, you have to put strong enough, and then it will last longer time. Mm. And uh, chef, for the chili paste, right, we see you can keep up to uh, two months, one to two months, right? Yes. Do you need to freeze it or? If you seasoning enough, right, means that salt enough, right? I can put inside um, um, just normal chiller. Normal chiller. Okay, uh, no need to freeze. Yes, correct. Because we have salt, and if you want to add some vegetable lime juice, also it helps also to extend the shelf life, and also give a bit punch of acidity. Unless you want to keep for six months. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you really want to make a, a big batch of it yes. and want to use it in for a long time, yes, it's okay. Also okay to freeze. Yeah. And then, uh, so one small tips for everyone is like, uh, when during your preparation for the dishes, right? Please think about your loved one. Then your dishes, hundred percent sure, delicious. <laughs> wow, that's a great tip. So it's dinner time soon. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Uh, the ingredients are available for you, and uh, we still we will of course um. Uh, have the video into the PA uh, course uh, uh, Facebook. And before that, I just want to answer a few last questions. We still have time. We, we are still here, so yes. no problem. You can still keep the questions coming. So uh, after frying the chili, right, the sauce. Yeah. Just now, we you put, you say the sauce can keep is only after mixing. Correct. But once you also stir fry, right, like this this stir fry. Yes. This can you keep in the fridge as well? This one can keep as well. How long can you keep for? This one after cook, right? Because when we slow cook it, mm. so this one can keep longer than the pickled chili. Yes. Oh, okay. This yeah. can keep even longer than the pickled chili. Uh, and this one you can uh, freeze garlic. it. Freeze it too? Yeah. This one can freeze it. Mm. And can we use the whole fish instead of a fish fillet? Can. <laughs> can. Yeah. If you have a big family, yes. Whole fish is great. But Everyone won't have to fight. Yeah. But I suggest, right, um, even though you use whole fish, uh, I try to open up. Oh. Uh, if not, right, um, the, thin, the thin part become overcooked. Mm, mm. Yes. I see, I see. Mm. And how long for like a, like a garupa? Uh, this one it depends on the size of the fish. Mm. And then how, heat, how, how, how hot you use the heat. Mm, yeah. mm. So this is more uh, experience. You have to Correct, try right. at home. Yes. And how do you tell whether the fish is cooked? Can you use a chopstick or anything to, to test the doneness of the fish? Basically, we use a um, um, bamboo stick. When you touch the fish, right, can go through means that the fish is already cooked. Yeah. Okay, so bamboo stick at home, just go through the fish and if it does go through, it's cooked. If it's not, then a bit longer on the, yes, yes. On the steamer. Mm. Okay. Another question. Um, can we use the master chili sauce for uh, vegetables as well? Yes, you can go with lachan, mm. become a Malay dish. Mm, yes, and uh, do you have uh, where can you buy Chinese wine? Chinese wine actually can can find in like NTUC or Sing Song. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, like we call Hua Tiao Chiu. And in this chili sauce, right, we use both the green peppercorn and also the black bean, right? Yes, both. correct. Okay, yeah. Depends, if let's say you don't like the kind of uh, ma, you can take out the citron paper. Mm. So it depends on uh, your, your personal like. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Because what does the black bean paste actually, uh, the dou chi, what does it bring out? What kind of flavors? You say it's, because it's a bit fermented, right? Yes. But I can say that you have to try it at home, then you know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The, the smell come up itself, it really very nice go with the fish. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like yellow bean uh, 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 taste, but different. Mm -mm. Yes. Chef, and I know that we'll be cooking again next week. It's cooking yeah. cabbage next week. Yes. Can you give us a sneak peek on what we'll be learning? Secret. <laughs> Stay tuned next week. Yeah. So maybe Chef is still coming up with the recipes. <laughs> yeah. But we know it's going to be Cantonese. Correct. So same thing. Next week, I will teach, right? Two dishes, it will link. But two is a different dishes. 
Very good. Uh, so we have a common base. Yes, correct. Uh, so that you know, we're more efficient. We can mm. make the sauce or the uh, the base, and then two different dishes. So yeah, these two dishes are really really different. I just want to zoom in again mm. to show you the two dishes we've made today, because they are completely different. <laughs> uh, one you will say a very um, uh, west, maybe more western fusion type of a snack uh, wrap. Uh, you can use it for like uh, a brunch break. or tea break, yes. yes. And then another, of course, wow, this will go so well with rice and it's like a kind of a master level, yes. a restaurant fancy type of uh, dish. Mother's Day is coming. I think this will be a pretty good dish to, to uh, give your mom a treat. Maybe she'll be so, wow, surprised. Like your cooking level is so good. Okay, I'm going to go back to the main camera. So again, any questions you have? Oh, we have another question here. Uh, can we get hoisin sauce from NTUC? Yes, definitely we can, we can find it from NTUC. Mm. So how, how we spell hoisin is H-O-I-S. Uh, just I, I, in Chinese yeah. wording, we call it hoisin Yeah. Seafood sauce, which means in English for direct translation. Oh, uh, do you have any recommendation on the brand of the hoisin sauce? Actually, any brand. Any, any brand. Mm. For me, I use, um, yeah, any brand. Okay. Uh, make sure the, the, the taste is suit you, then you do. Mm. We, also have, sure, we also have a question on do we have the recipes in Chinese? I think we only send on the English version. Yes, but we can look into translating to Chinese and send it out also after the class. Oh, what is the baking duck wrap name? Uh, so today we, we made the mala, mm. uh, smoked duck mm. wrap. Baking duck wrap? Yes, yeah, so baking duck wrap is, can be something else that you can yeah. also try at home yes, with correct. the hoisin sauce. Yeah. Uh, what is green citron paper? Wow, well, thank you. We have uh, uh, participants helping another participant to answer questions. This is really great. Thank you. Um, Chef, last question. What is the alternative for uh, Chinese wine? Uh, actually, we can use uh, um, like Huang Jiu. Mm. Uh, can I use white Chiu. wine? Sorry again? Can I use white wine? Wow, so atas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually it tastes a bit different. Mm. Yeah, because so, uh, uh, white, white wine a bit sour. Okay. Sour. sour, okay. Yeah. So, the, the, if you want so sour, you use Bai Mi Jiu, mm. Huang Jiu. Mm. But still can use white wine. You can make the dish more atas. Wow. <laughs> you know, Chinese Western. Fusion, yeah. right? And uh, how about mirin? Mirin, yes. But mirin a bit sweet. Uh. So when you season, right, uh, just reduce the, the ah, sugar. Okay, good tip. Yes. Wow. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Chef Aaron Tan. Thank you very thank much. You. Chef is also, you know, he's an executive sous chef at a five star hotel and really spending his Saturday afternoon with us. I know you've done prep also before coming. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining our Let's Cook webinar, the second class. Today, we've made two dishes, smoked, uh, amala smoked duck wrap and steamed fish with chopped chili and garlic sauce. So the full video will be available in a few days time on PA courses. And of course, you can find all cooking ideas, baking ideas in your app, free to download easy recipes. So you will never get bored with your food. Thank you for watching and then stay safe, stay healthy. Yes. Stay home and cook. Week. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.